It's an amazingly big part of our food supply, but it's something that most of us don't know anything about. I'm talking about soy, something that our Dr. Alan Green says is very important to pay attention to. We'll find out just how important it is in this next installment of Dr. Alan Green's Organic Prescription. Number nine, soy. Now, a lot of people say to me, I don't eat much soy. But if I were to ask you to switch all of the soy in your diet to organic soy, it would mean switching countless products because soy shows up as an ingredient in a vast array of foods. See, almost all of the huge soybean crop in the United States is pressed and separated into soybean oil and into meal for soy protein. Only a tiny amount of it is used in balance as a whole soybean for whole soy foods. Soybean oil is huge. Here's a startling fact. About two-thirds of the fat consumed by Americans, vegetable oils or animal fats, is soybean oil. And you know what? When you think trans fats, think partially hydrogenated soybean oil. And soy protein isolates from soy meal is even more huge, but 98% of that is fed to livestock, so it's really hard for us to track where it gets into our food. I said soy was huge. 72 million acres in the U.S. are planted in soy. Soy is second only to corn and pesticide use in the United States. More concerning, in recent years, domestic soy has been the domestic crop most contaminated with the dangerous organophosphate pesticides. And beyond this, soy leads the way in genetically modified organisms in the U.S. 87% of our huge soy crop is genetically modified. Because labeling regulations don't require companies to list genetically modified foods, it can be really difficult to know what you're getting, whether it's a soy formula or soy milk. But if you choose organic soy, you can know that it wasn't made with genetically modified seed. In order for a food to be certified organic, it can't come from genetically modified seed. So choosing organic is one way to know what you're getting. So where are we? Less than 0.17% of our massive soy crop is organic. We need to make a dent. Where do we begin? Let's start with the soy we can see. Organic soy products made from whole soy beans, whether it's organic milk or organic soy yogurt or Soy burgers can be a healthy part of a healthy diet and of a healthy agricultural system. Now, soy is a complex and powerful story. For more information, visit me at drgreen.com. I'm Dr. Alan Green, and soy is my organic prescription for today.